Hi, this is Lauren from Daisy Cottage Designs, and I'm here with a video tutorial for you on the Daisy Cottage Designs Granny Square Blanket. This has been one of my most popular patterns for the last decade, and I've been meaning to make a video tutorial to go along with this pattern for years, and today I'm finally going to do it. If you want to work along with me, you're going to want to grab a J crochet hook, which is a size 10 or a 6 millimeter hook, and some worsted weight yarn. I am using Yarn B Soft and Sleek. This color here is linen, and I will link the other colors I used in the project down below. So the first thing you're going to want to do is chain three. So here's one, two, and three. So after we've chained three, we are going to work two double crochets into the third chain from the hook. So one, two, and three. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's one, And here is two. So in this pattern, a double, double crochet cluster is made up of three double crochets. So this chain two plus the two double crochets is going to count as our very first double crochet cluster. So now we're going to chain one, and then we're gonna work another cluster stitch into the same chain. So here's one, two, and three, and then we're going to chain one again. Now every time we chain one, what we're actually doing is we're making one of our corners. So here's our first corner, and now we're going to work another cluster, which is three double crochets. So here's one, two, and three, oops, three, and now we're going to chain one after that cluster, and now we are going to work one more cluster into this chain, so here's one, two, mm -hmm and three. We're going to chain one after that cluster and then we're going to pull this center um, tail tight and then we are going to slip stitch to the top of the chain two. So this right here is our chain two that we started with. Now we're going to slip stitch to the top of it to join. All right, so there is our slip stitch. Once we weave this in, this won't come open at all anymore. All right, so at the end of this round, after, at the end of round one, you should have four double crochet clusters. So one, two, three, and four. And you should have four chain one spaces. And those chain one spaces are, are our corners. So now we need to get over to this corner right here. So we're going to have to slip stitch into the next stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the stitch after that and then we're going to slip stitch right into this chain one space right into this next corner all right so we're going to slip stitch by slipping our hook under and then now we're going to chain two to start our next round so this chain two is gonna count as the first double crochet in our cluster. And so we'll work two more double crochets. So here's one, and two. Now we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna work another cluster into the same chain one space. So here's one, two, and three. And so we just made our first corner of the second round. Now we're going to go over to this chain one space and we're gonna work a cluster into this chain one space. So here's one, two, 
two. And three. We're going to chain one and work another cluster into that same chain one space, into that same corner. So here's one, two, and three. And we just made our next corner. So you can see we have our first corner down here. And then we have our second corner up here. And then we're going to work into this next chain one space. So we're going to double crochet a cluster stitch. So three double crochet. So there's one, two, and three. And then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to work another cluster stitch into that same space, into that same corner. So here's one, two, and three. And then we are going to work another cluster into this chain one space over here. So here's one, two, and three. We're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna make our next cluster into the same space. So here's one, two, and three. So we are going to slip stitch into the second chain, the top chain, to join that round. And now we need to get over to this chain one space. So we're going to slip stitch into the next double crochet and then slip stitch into the double crochet after that. And then we're going to slip stitch into the chain one space. Okay, so at the end of round two, your work should look like this. You're going to have eight clusters. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you're going to have four chain one spaces. So one, two, three, and four. So the chain one spaces in each round are going to be, so let me point again because I think that was blurry. The chain one spaces in each round are going to be your corners. So whenever you come to a corner, you're going to work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch. In every corner, no matter what row you're on, you're going to work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch. Look, I have this swatch here. So in every corner, if I were to get here, I would work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch. And then I would work a cluster stitch and a chain one and a cluster stitch. But in between the clusters on the rounds, you're just going to work one cluster stitch. So let's go ahead and get started and I think it'll make more sense as we go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to chain two and then we're going to work two double crochets into this corner. So here's one and two. Then we're going to chain one because we're in our corner, so we have to work a chain one and then another cluster stitch. So three double crochets. So here's our first one and our second one and our third one. All right, so before our next place to crochet would be our corner, but now we have to work in between these two clusters. All right, so we're going to work one cluster stitch between these two cluster stitches of the previous round. So we're just going to work into this space here. So we don't go into any stitches. We just insert our hook right into that hole. So we're going to work one, two, and three. 
double crochets into that space between the clusters. And now we're at a corner. So in every corner, we're going to work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch. So here's our first cluster stitch. There's one. Here. One of my hairs is caught in my yarn. <clears throat> one, two, and three. Now we're going to chain one and work our second cluster stitch. Here's one, two, and three. So you can see we just made our corner. Now we have the space between our cluster stitches, but we're not at a corner. So we're just gonna work a cluster stitch into this space. So here's one, two, and three. Now we come to our next corner, so we're, we're going to work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch into this corner. So our first cluster stitch will work three double crochets. So here's one, two, and three. Now we'll chain one and work our second cluster stitch into the same corner. So here's one, two, and three. Now we're going to work a cluster stitch into this space between the two clusters of the previous row. So here's one, two, and three. Now we're at the next corner, so we're going to work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch into this corner. So our first cluster stitch is three double crochets. So here's one, two, and three. Now we're going to chain one, and we're going to cluster stitch into the same corner. So here's one, two, and three. All right, so we just finished our third corner. Or, no, that was our fourth corner. So we have our first here, second here, third here. I'm finding the chain one spaces. And then the fourth here. Now we have this space between our clusters. So we're going to work a cluster stitch into this space. So that's one, two, and three. And now we're going to slip stitch to the top of our chain two. So there's our first slip stitch. And now remember, we've got to work our way over to this over to this corner. So we're going to slip stitch into the next double crochet. And then slip stitch into the double crochet after that. And then we're going to slip stitch into the chain one space. So every round is worked the same way. So what you're going to do is you're going to work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch in every corner. And then you're gonna work a cluster stitch between the clusters of the previous row until you get to the corner. And then when you get to the next corner, you're going to work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch. Let me get my hook to point. And then you're going to work a cluster stitch in between these two clusters. And you're gonna work a cluster stitch in between these two clusters. And then when you get to the next corner, you're going to work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch. And then you're going to work a cluster stitch between these two stitches, and a cluster stitch between these two stitches. And then you're going to work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch into this corner here. So let's work one more round together. 
So we've already slip stitched over to our corner. So now we're going to chain two and we'll work two more double crochets to make our first cluster. So here's one and two. Then we're going to chain one and work our second cluster stitch in the corner. So there's one, two, and three. Now we're going to work our cluster stitches in between the cluster stitches of the previous row. So right here and right here, we'll work our first cluster stitch here. So here's one. I'm trying to watch through the viewfinder on my camera. One, two, three. So there's our first cluster stitch. Now we're going to work a cluster stitch into this space right here. There's one, two, and three. Now we're at our next corner. So we're going to work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch. So here's one, two, and three. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to work another cluster stitch into the same corner. So here's one, two, and three. So we just made our second corner. Now we're going to double crochet between the next two clusters. So right here, we'll work one cluster into this space here. So here's one, two, and three. Then we're going to work a cluster stitch in between these two clusters. So here's one, two, and three. Now we're going to work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch in this corner right here. So here's our first cluster stitch. There's our first double crochet, our second double crochet, and our third double crochet. Now we're going to chain one and make our second cluster stitch to finish that corner. So there's one, two, and three. Then we're going to work our a cluster between these two clusters. So here's one, two, and three. And then we're going to work a cluster stitch between these next two clusters. So there's one, two, and three. Now we've come to our next corner. So we're going to work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch into this corner. So there's our first double crochet. Our second and our third. Then we're going to chain one and work our next cluster stitch. So there's one, two, and three. So we just made our last corner. So now we need to double crochet in this space here and in this space here. We, well, not double crochet. We need to make our clusters in this space here and this space here. So here's one, two, 
and three. And then I'm going to work my final cluster in this space here. So here's one, two, and three. I cannot get rid of that hair. So now I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the chain two, slip stitch to the top of the chain two. Slip stitch in the next two double crochets. So here's one, oops, one, and two. And now I'm going to slip stitch into this chain corner or the chain one space. <clears throat> and then I would be ready to start my next round. So in the next round, I would work a corner here. So a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch. And then I would work a cluster stitch here, and a cluster stitch here, and a cluster stitch here. And then I would work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch in this corner right here. And then I would work a cluster stitch and a cluster stitch and a cluster stitch right here. And then in this corner, I would work a cluster stitch, a chain one, and a cluster stitch, then cluster stitch, cluster stitch, cluster stitch, and then a cluster stitch, chain one, and cluster stitch in this corner, and then a cluster stitch, cluster stitch, cluster stitch, and then I would um, slip stitch to the top of the chain two, and each round is gonna be worked in the same way. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if not, I hope you have a great day and happy crocheting.